Lecture by CYC Chen Cynthia. You can pause anytime you need. 你可以随时按下暂停键。Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the pencil crayon drawing. So let's get your paper ready. You can use mixed media paper. Okay, that can be used for dry media and wet media. And of course, you can use the sketchbook. Okay, whatever what kind of blend you have, you will see the sketch on the cover. Okay, what if you don't have any one of them? You can use the printing paper, okay? So printing paper is working as well. Then, of course, you need to have the erasers, pencils, and the sharpener. All right. And also, I need you to prepare two different tracing markers. So I need to have two different sizes. One is like the fine markers. One is the thin marker, like the needle. So you can compare these two are different. All right, so you need to have your tracing markers ready, and of course, at the middle of the class, I will ask you to get your pencil crayon. All right, we were going to color with the pencil crayon at the middle of the class. All right, so let's get all the stuff ready for the class. Okay, hello everyone. Today we gonna be a little bit busy because we have to do a lot of drawings. Okay, so it's October, it's fall, and the weather getting cooler, isn't it? And the view is getting start to change. All right, so we're gonna do the symbol for the fall. All right, now I need you to have the eraser. We always need that, and of course we need to have the pencils. All right, so put the eraser on the side. Grab your pencil first. First of all, we have to divide our paper into the grid. Okay, so I want to find the vertical line, but where is it? It has to be at the middle of the paper. So which means the left and the right has to be the same. So your right hand side, this area, and that area should look like the same. Okay. So no one is bigger; they should look equally. All right. So let's see. Do you have them on the right place? So the middle line has to go on the middle, not right or left. Has to be the middle. Okay. So we're gonna divide it two times, two more times. So we see on the right, half half. I want to cut the paper. Cut the brick like the half. Go down, straight down. Okay, so I got one, two. These two has to go similar size. Okay, so which means this one and that one should look like the same. So we do it one more time on the left. Straight down. So I have four equal colon. One. Two, three, and four. Make sure you can place hands in each colon. Okay. Make sure you can place the hands in each colon. Okay. So which means none of them are too small. All right. You grace. You done. Perfect. So now we have the vertical line. We have to cut like the horizontal line. Cut here. Okay, so we have to divide up and bottoms. Okay, so add in the horizontal lines, straight, 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 straight. All right. So top and the bottoms are the same size. So let's place my hands one more time. I place my hands. I place my hands. I place my hand in each box. Is about the same size as my hands, so they are good enough. They are not too small or either too big. All right, all right. So see, we have how many colon? We have how many boxes? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight box, which means we're gonna do 
eight different items in each box, and all the item has to relate to the four. Okay, so let's do the first one. Very simple and easy, and you have to do the other four all by yourself. Sounds good. It's a little bit challenging, isn't it? All right. So we normally pick up the strawberry during the summer, isn't it? And when is the best time to pick up the apples? Fall. So we can say apple is the fruit for the fall. So the first one we can do the apple, but let's see how I'm doing the apple. Let me zoom in so you can see even more clear. So the first one, the apple. The apple has to be a little bit round, but they are not looks like the circle of the sea. The top is a little bit like waving, and the bottom part getting smaller. It looks like shrinkage, right? So I got the fry. They want to eat my apple. Okay. So the bottom part should be very, very small. It's shrinkage. And let me see. One, two, three. Three line. Okay, so the top we have two bigger wave, two wave. The bottom part we have one, two, and three. All right, then we to add the stem. But before that, we have to add a smile. Then we erase the top a little bit. See, I leave the top open. One. Two, oval to close the top. All right. Feel free if you want to add a leaf on the apple stem. So that's my first one. That is the symbol for the fall. When you see the apple, when you can pick up the apple from the trees, which means is fall. So I will say apple. All right. Then the next one, acorn. Have you seen the acorn tree? Now the acorn turn brown already. If you see the acorn still green, they are mean it's still in the summer. But when you see the acorn getting brownish, which means they are ready for eat. So the squirrel will come and pick up the acorn for the winter. So the acorn is happening in fall. All right, so I'm gonna do the acorn. So how can we do that? We have to do an oval, but the flat oval, very flat. Okay, then add in the green. So let's see how I add in the green. I add in a bunch of the dash line. Okay, the diagonal lines. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, and all the way back to the oval. All right, now I'm doing the other side. I'm making the cross. One, two, three, and more, even more, even more onto the end. All right, then we have the small stem as well. All right, we have the small stem as well. One, two. And close with the oval. All right. So the bottom part, let's see. One light, two light. Then curve, curve. Leave the bottom open. Leave the bottom open. Okay. Then curve down, curve up. A small pointy at the bottom. Good. All right. So that's C. What next? The leaf. Have you checked out the leaf outside the tree? Do you see something different? The colors of the tree. It turned a little bit orange and reddish. They haven't turned the green color all to the orange yet. But half of them are turning the colors. So I'm gonna do the leaf. So the leaf, I'm gonna do two of them. 
Okay, one is the pie corn, not pie corn, acorn leaf, and one is the maple leaf. So that start to do the acorn leaf. They are easier. Okay, so I want to do a straight line at the middle. Easy. Now I want to have a big letter C on the top, the middle. I'm not touching. I still leaving some space. All right. Then number three, one, two, like the three number three, isn't it? Now we make the three upside down. One, two. We just mirror it to the other side. Number three and mirror it to the other side. Okay. Then I do the number three, but smaller. One, two. See how big is the number three? How small is it? So we do the same. One, two, smaller. Okay. Then the later you close the buttons. Put the stem. Very tiny. Okay. So each curve they have a line like this. A check mark. See, they are going into the letter C. Check mark. Check mark. One more. Okay, so that is the acorn leaf. Okay, and the maple leaf is a little bit tricky, but no worry, we can do that all together. All right. So the bottom one, or the top one here. Okay, same thing. Straight down. It's exactly the same what we are doing for the acorn tree. Okay, so now it's same thing straight down. But this time we are not making the curve line. We're making the triangle on the top. Up, down like the roof. And one more, but they are smaller. They are smaller. One triangle, two triangle. And go close into the middle line. Go close into the middle line. Okay. Then go out. Go out. Okay. So one down. Go down. Then the big triangle, like the crown, isn't it? One, two. Like the crown on the side, and the bottom. One, two, one, two, then close. Then you can add the stem at the bottom. Okay, same thing. We have to add the pattern for the leaf. Check mark. Check mark. But here has a little bit special. We are making the check mark at the middle. We are adding the check mark on the side. Looks like this. Small check mark. And the small check mark. Okay, so that is the maple leaf and the acorn leaf. All right, so now we have another four box at the bottom. Now you have to tell me what is your four symbol. So what do you think about the symbol for the four? Maybe a pumpkin. Maybe a turkey. Maybe the Halloween. Right, maybe a hot chocolate milk. Right, we want to drink something hot during the cool weather. So, what do you think? Or maybe you need a jacket. Maybe you need a hat. Or maybe, maybe, maybe you can see even more fox bunnies coming out. Right. So, what do you think about the fall? All right, uh, corns. A falling trees, raining a lot, umbrellas, the rain boots. Okay, so think about it. What do you think about the fall? And do that on the bottom.
three, two, one. No worry if you haven't done yet, okay? I just want to share mine before we move on, okay? So we have the apples, right? As I told you, the apple picking is happening in fall and the acorn turn brown, you can pick up. And there's the acorn leaf, maple leaf, and we should have the top look like the same. Now let's see my bottom one, okay? So when the weather getting cooler, I want to drink something hot. So I have the hot pot right here. So I can drink the hot chocolate, hot coffee, or the hot tea, okay? And I do a tree, but the tree is following a lot of leaf on the ground. Okay, that's my second one. And the third one, the geese are flying away to the south, right? So now you should see a lot of geese flying away, isn't it? And the baby geese are grown up, then they can back to where their parents come from. Okay? And my last one is my boots. Okay? It's because it's getting raining a lot and there has a lot of muddy puzzle. I don't want to get my shoes dirty, so I'm wearing the raining boot even more often than the other seasons. Okay? So that's the reason I draw a raining boot because I wear more in fall okay now how about yours all right so as you know when we done with our joint now i want you to remove all the boxes we don't need them anymore anyways we finish we have eight items all right so when you erase you have to be very careful all right don't erase the joint that you did we just need to remove the box not the joint Okay, so you have to be very, very gentle. All right, I almost finished. Have to be patient on this. All right, I didn't erase them very clean, but I will do that after I finish tracing so I can erase more clear. I just want, don't want to confuse myself. I don't trace the box, right? I only trace these eight items. All right, so when I finish the erasing, now I want you to find your tracing markers. All right, so as usual, we have the thick markers and we have the thin markers like needle, okay? The thick marker to trace the big parts the thin marker to trace the small parts. If you don't have the thin markers, you can use the pencil crayon to help. All right, so either one. All right, so let's see, how can we use different size on our joints? So let's use the acorn as the sample. All right, so I'm gonna trace the oval with the thick markers, the big one, and the acorn at the bottom. All right, but how about the grid and the stand? They're pretty small, isn't it? So I have to switch to the smaller shrubby or the markers to trace. So they are not gluing together. I can see the shape very clearly and they are clean. All right, so I use the thin marker to trace somewhere small or somewhere like the pattern, like the grid pattern on the acorn, isn't it? like the leaf, the pattern on the leaf, stem, and the curve. All right, so I can use the thick marker to trace the apple itself. Okay, so now I think you understand what we, are sh we should do. So now you can begin to trace.
Okay, so when you finish tracing, or if you haven't, so keep going. You can keep going to do the tracing. But when you finish tracing, don't forget to erase all the extra pencil lines. Okay, so if you could see my sample, my joint, I used two different sides of the marker to do the outline, isn't it? So I can see which one is the pattern. Pattern, which one is the main joint, okay? So, clean up all the pencil line, then we're gonna have our three minutes water break. So during the water break, I'm not going to do anything, okay? So you can catch up if you haven't done your step, all right? Then after three minutes water break, we will going to start to do the colors, all right? So make sure you have your coloring tools next to you, either pencil crayon or the color markers, all right? All right, now is our water break. During the water break, you can complete your work, drinking some water, use washroom, stretch your body, and get ready for the next sections. All right, and don't forget to come in back when the timer is done. Use your break time wisely, okay? Don't waste the time just sitting right here. Our water break is almost over. Make sure you got everything ready for the next sections. Almost the class, get ready for the next part. Three, two, one. Okay, welcome back everyone. Okay, so if you haven't done the tracing, you can do it after we finish the color. Okay, either way. So, uh, you have your pencil crayon or the coloring marker is all by your choice and you can use any color to color your symbol as long as it match to the fall. So what color for the fall? Okay, so that's in mind my first apple. So what color we can use for the apple? It could be yellow. I see the yellow before and there's a green apple, orange apples, and the red apples so either color which one you like so remember 
when we do the coloring can we do something like this and i don't no that is scribbling it doesn't look nice and how about that mm, it looks better it looks better and i finish no it's not because i can see there are a bunch of the white space is it is the color doesn't go smooth so i would say no that's not the complete color you have to work even harder okay so let's see how can we do the coloring i color around very gentle and nice see i color around very gentle and nice and the bottom don't forget we color around see i got the protections all the way around is it then i color at the middle smooth same pressures very smooth no white spots i color them very gently i color them very gentle even they are very small i color them still very nice I'm very patient for that. Okay, see, you don't see any white spots. All right, so I will do this one more time on my acorn. Okay, same thing, any color you want, up to you, your choice. So, I color around. I color around, very solid. Very solid, just color around like the protections and there's no white space on the edge. The corner, see the corner is a little bit white. I just fix it. All right, now I can color very nice and solid at the middle. Very solid at the middle, no scribbling. I color on the same directions. See, there's no white space. And there's no color coming out of the shape. It's very clean. It's a clean outfit right here. See, nothing there. All the color is staying inside. All right. So now be patient and do the coloring goods as much as you can. All right. So now you can begin.
Don't be rush. Good art always takes time. Please don't mess up your joint. Keep your color like the professional artist.
so uh, I know some of you haven't finished it, but it's okay. You can keep going after the class. All right. So I finished the color. See, my color is all inside the shape. Even the small, small, small area, the small, small area, they died, they got their own colors. See, even the leaf on the ground, I keep the color inside the shape. I didn't do the scribbling. It takes time, I know. But good arts always take time, okay? So you have to be patient to finish all the coloring, okay? So for who is finished, you can find a spot to sign your name like the artist. Then write down the dates. All right, then we down the drawing for today. When you complete your drawing, sign the name and write down the date. 完成画作之后,签下你的名字,跟写上日期. Don't forget to take a photo of your drawing and send it to us. 不要忘记帮你的作品拍上照片寄给我们哦! And don't forget to clean out the table before you go. 不要忘记清洁你的桌子哦! Bye bye, see you next time!